कितनी एक दूर है माहीन मेरी शिमले दिरा है चंबा कितनी एक दूर शिमले निवसना कसौली निवसना शिमले निवसना कसौली निवसना चंबे जाना जरूर है चंबे जाना जरूर माहीन मेरी ये शिमले दिरा है चंबा कितनी एक दूर है चंबा कितनी एक दूर लाइया मोहब्बता दूर दराजे हो कसूर है अखिया तो हो या कसूर माहीन मेरी ये शिमले दिरा है चंबा कितनी एक दूर है चंबा कितनी एक दूर शिमले निवसना कसौली निवसना शिमले निवसना कसौली निवसना चंबे जाना जरूर है चंबे जाना जरूर माहीन मेरी ये शिमले दिरा है चंबा कितनी एक दूर है चंबा कितनी एक दूर चंबे जाना जरूर है चंबे जाना It's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of Himachal Pradesh. Well, what comes to my mind is snow. And interestingly enough, Himachal Pradesh literally means a boat of snow. However, is that all there is to the place? No. Situated within the heart of the western Himalayas, the northern state of Himachal Pradesh is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen boasting an array of geographically diverse and aesthetically pleasing views, such as lofty snow-clad mountains, deep gorges, thickly forested valleys, lush green pastures, sparkling rivers and glistening streams. And the people of Himachal Pradesh are perhaps the best example of how the nature of a region influences the inhabitants of that place, because the people of Himachal Pradesh are one of the most inclusive, comforting, and happy people in this country. So, join us as we explore this beautiful paradise. Earth and sky, woods and fields, lakes and rivers, and mountains and seas are excellent schoolmasters. They teach some of us more than what we would learn from books. So, let us have a look at Himachal Pradesh through the lines of the famous point, Raja Basu. Amazing Himachal Pradesh by Raja Basu. Gurgling rivers and streams playing along the lap of wide mountains. Lush green meadows that look greener when drenched with rain. Gothic buildings reminding you of the bygone British colonial ages and reflecting the grand lifestyle that our former colonial masters enjoyed during their prime. 
enchanting apple orchards accompanied by eye catching potato field simple but hard working people who lead a tough life with a dignified ease an amazing place where every day appears to be new dear all this is himachal pradesh for you geographical factors and importance of himachal pradesh Himachal Pradesh is a state in the northern part of India and it is one of the 11 largest states. Himachal Pradesh is the 17th largest state of India. It is known for its hill station and many art forms. Tourists and riders around the world have great enjoyment to the station of Himachal Pradesh. The most popular attraction of Himachal are Shimla, Manali, Kulu, Dalhousie and the McLeod Gange. The state is mountainous. The drainage system of Himachal is composed both of the rivers and glaciers. Himachal Pradesh provides water to both the Indus and Ganges basin. The drainage system of the region are the Chera, the Chandrabhaga or the uh, or the Revi, the Satluj, the Bees and the Yamuna. These rivers are perennial and are fed by snow and rainfall. They are protected by an extensive cover of natural vegetation. Due to extreme variation in elevation, great differences occur in the climatic conditions of Himachal. The climate varies from hot and subhumid tropical in the southern tracts, with more elevation, cold, and glacial in the northern and eastern mountain ranges. Himachal shares its borders with the Union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh to the north, the state of Punjab to the west, Haryana to the southwest and Uttarakhand and Uttar Pradesh to the south. The state also shares a border to the east with Tibet autonomous regions. Himachal Pradesh is an most opportunity in harnessing local available and also wasted renewable energy resources for meeting its energy demand sustainably. In the key understanding of the region, its landscape, climate, social structure, governance, etc. is essential for effective decentralized resources planning and management. The state of Himachal Pradesh also comprises many historical sites and monuments, which acts as another source of attraction for the tourists. The Harimba Temple in Manali provides a sense of stillness. This peaceful place surrounded by the Deodor Forest takes a place in the heart of all people who love quiet and calm places. The Kangra Fort, another famous historical site of Himachal Pradesh is a must visit place for any history enthusiast since it has many interesting history in its account. The key monastery in Spiti Valley, another famous historical site of the state, is visited by the tourists all over the world and is in fact one of the perfect places to find some inner peace. The state has many historical sites and monuments and these all are worth seeing more than once in your life. Let us talk about the climate of Himachal Pradesh. Due to the extreme variation in terms of its elevation, Himachal Pradesh has a highly varied climate. They experience hot and subhuman tropical climate towards the southern ends and experience a more cold, alpine and glacial climate towards the northern and eastern ranges of Himachal Pradesh. During the months of January and February, Himachal Pradesh experiences highest rate of rainfall, which leads to a very low temperature throughout the state. Based on its temperature and elevation, Himachal Pradesh was divided into three regions, Himadri, Himachal and the Shivaliks. The annual temperature of Himachal Pradesh is thus very low with an approximate of less than 15 degrees Celsius throughout the state. Rainfall in Himachal Pradesh occurs during the southwestern monsoon in the months of June to September. Himachal ki to baat hi nirali hai. Har jagah haryali hi haryali hai. Lekin hum insano ki wajah se इसकी खूबसूरती और पहचान मिटती जा रही है इस दर्द को बयां करते हुए प्रस्तुत है कविता मैं हिमाचल प्रदेश हूँ मैं 
हिमाचल प्रदेश हूँ नदियाँ पहाड़ है शान मेरी मैं हरा भरा सा एक देश हूँ देवभूमि सब कहते मुझे मैं हिमाचल प्रदेश हूँ खो रही अब पहचान मेरी कत्ते पेड़ ले रहे जान मेरी अब चंद वर्षों का बचा खेल हूँ मैं हिमाचल प्रदेश हूँ ये जो नोच नोच मुझे खा रहे ये सब इंसान है कातिल मेरे इनकी महत्वाकांक्षा की चढ़ती भेंट हूँ मैं हिमाचल प्रदेश हूँ कहीं मेरे नदियों को बांट रहे कहीं मेरे पहाड़ों को काट रहे अब बन रहा मैं बंजर खेत हूँ मैं हिमाचल प्रदेश हूँ अपनी बदहाली पर रो रहा हूँ तुम इंसानों की ख्वाहिशें ढो रहा हूँ मेरी नदिया नाले सब सूख रहे हैं पल पल मुझे सब कोस रहे हैं अब तो रुक जाओ मैं कह रहा हूँ बख्श दो मुझे कब से सह रहा हूँ अब बचा लो मुझे जितना बचा शेष हूँ मैं तुम्हारी अपनी हिमाचल प्रदेश हूँ मैं तुम्हारी अपनी हिमाचल प्रदेश हूँ Let us look at the population of Himachal Pradesh. Himachal Pradesh has a population of around 6.8 million people. It is the 21st most populated state of India. Around 90% of the population comprises of Hindus. A percentage of the people are also Tibetans. Muslims, Christians and Sikhs, though in a minority, enjoy the same rights as those of Hindus. Around 40% of the population wear Himachali topi as a symbol of the state. Hindi is spoken by the majority of the population while some people speak Punjabi and Nepali as well around 90% of the population depend upon agriculture for their livelihood Himachal Pradesh is a state in the northern part of India situated in the western Himalayas it is one of the 11 mountain states and is characterized by an extreme landscape featuring several peaks and extensive river systems The population of Himachal Pradesh has been increasing continuously over the years. However, growth rate of total population shows a decreasing trend over the last 3 decades. In 2011, the total portion of population of Himachal Pradesh is 68 lakh 64602 out of which 34 lakh 81873 were females. The density of population is 123 km square. The rural population was on the highest side of 90% and urban 10%. Share of urban population has been increasing continuously over the previous years. With figure of 10.6% in 1981, 8.69% in 1991, 99.8% in 2001 and 10% in 2011 census. Recently as per Himachal Pradesh census data 87.22% houses are owned while 20.31% are rented. Population of Himachal Pradesh is composed of a variety of distinct ethno-linguistic groups and social caste. Many Punjabi immigrants have settled in the major towns and cities since independence in 1947. The vast majority of the population is Hindu. The state also has small minorities of Sikhs, Muslims and Christians. Himachal Pradesh has a total population of 6,856,000 out of which 51% are males and 49% are females. The scheduled caste and scheduled tribe account for 25.19% and 5.71% of the population respectively. The density of Himachal Pradesh is 123 per square kilometer. Even though the population of Himachal Pradesh has been increasing continuously over the years, The growth rate of total population shows a decreasing trend over the last 3 decades. In 2011, the rural population was on the higher side of 90% and urban was 
The percentage share of urban population has been increasing continuously over the previous years with figures of 7.61% in 1981 and 6.96% in 1991. With only a population of 68.65 lakh, Himachal Pradesh ranks 21st among the states and union territories. This is an indicator of its smallness. Dress and fashion can be used not only to symbolize culture, religion or spirituality but it can also be used as a tool of oppression as well as liberation. For many people, dress is an expression of personality, faith, choice and identity. Costumes of Himachal Pradesh reflect an awesome diversity owing to the plethora of culture and religion. Again, the costumes of each communities are different, be it the Hindu Brahmins, the Rajputs and the tribal people like Jagat, Kinauras, Gujas, Panjavals and Chilaholis. Himachal Pradesh, one of the untouched, pristine and one of the most popular states in India, has a diverse clothing style. One's clothes always reflects one's traditions, culture, the environment in which one is living and many other factors. The attire of Himachal people is very beautiful and vibrant and it's made according to the harsh weather conditions that linger all year round. Warm and cozy, the hand-woven dresses are an attraction for people who visit the state from other parts of the country and world. Right from the caps to the dresses to the footwear, most of it is weaved manually. The handloom has risen to become the cultural identity of Himachal Pradesh. In our opinion, the dressing attire of Himachal people is entirely different from any other states in India. All the species of plants found in a region are collectively called the flora of that region. Similarly, all the species of animals found in a region are collectively called the fauna of the region. India is a home to around 47,000 species of flora and 81,000 species of fauna. Himachal Pradesh has about 27% of its total area under the forest and this makes the wildlife thrilling and exciting. It has been announced that there is about 5,761 species of fauna and 3,461 species of flora alone in Himachal Pradesh. Himachal Pradesh has about 463 birds, 77 mammalian, 80 fish and 44 reptiles. Their cuisine to an extent resembles to that of other states present in North India. They enjoy eating rice with makhni which is urad dal prepared with dry mangoes or madra which is lentils prepared with yogurt. They prepare their non-vegetarian dishes with generous amounts of spices and ghee which is generally preferred by the Himachalis. They also drink generous amounts of ghee throughout the day which is prepared by various recipes. They also give more concentration into their milk and other dairy products. Popularly known as the Day of Bhumi, Himachal Pradesh is filled with beautiful valleys, mystical rivers and peaceful monasteries. There is so much to see in Himachal because the state has pretty much everything for everyone. Almost any time is the best time to visit Himachal. The weather is always favorable and inviting to all its arriving tourists. If you are a person who loves culture and spirituality, then the Dharamshala is a place that has both for you. The wonderful Tibetan flag, rolling player wheels, 
and bells ringing always contribute to the rustic charm of the destination. The state also has a number of festivals such as the Manali Winter Carnival, Lodi, Halda and etc. But the most ritually arousing festival is the Sera. The Himachali people have their own customs and rituals of celebrating it. The people of Himachal celebrate their everyday life and its ethnic diversity. That's why the local dance and music reflect the cultural identity of the state. And if you are a person who is looking for shopping in Himachal, the Pashmina shawl is a must to buy. The carpets, leather works, shawls, paintings, metalware and woodwork are really worth appreciating. There you go. So if the next time you plan to visit Himachal Pradesh, mountain, scenery, splendid heritage and culture are some of the things you cannot miss out. Since Himachal is filled with so many beautiful things, let us look at a few drawings. doesn't matter how many books you read unless you understand the fact in them. Yes, it is a famous car by Himachal's famous author named Redskin Bond. Redskin Bond is India's best loved storytellers. Born in Himachal Pradesh in 1934 May 19, he is an Indian author of British descent. The Indian Council for Child Education has recognized his role in the growth of children's literature in India. He was awarded the Sahitya Academy Award in 1992 for Outreach Still Grow in Tehra, his English novel. Some of his famous books are The Room on the Roof, The Blue Umbrella and The Cherry Tree. is an Indian author, journalist and speaker from Shimla, Himachal Pradesh. She has won many awards for contributions to literature, gender issues and journalism including the Frank O'Connor International Award and the Commonwealth Short Story Prize. Her notable works are Feminist Rani, Happy Birthday and How to Get Published in India. Pant has also worked as a business news anchor with NDTV, Times Now and Bloomberg UTV in Mumbai and New York. She is also a podcaster from a show about personal finance from Amazon's Audible. Neela Mathe was born on 7 January 1934 in Simla, Punjab state of British India. She is a remarkable actress and writer. She has co-authored several books with her husband and writer Reginald Massey. One was a novel, The Immigrants, based on the field research among the first generation of Asians in Britain. The other books also include The Music of India, which is based on the classical music of India, its history, instruments, musicians and theory for which Ravi Shankar provided a foreword. The Dancers of India, a general survey and dancers guide provides an overview of India's many folk dancers and a list of dancers, teachers and dance organizations. Besides being a gifted writer, she is also deeply interested and involved in music. She had a long career on the UK television and radio. 
She is known for playing the role of Neelam Kapoor in EastEnders and was a notable actress. Aged 86, she lives in Wales with her husband, the poet and author Reginald Massey. Jaya Jaitley was born on 14 June 1942 in Shimla, Himachal Pradesh. Her father was K.K. Chitur from Kerala and was the first Indian ambassador to Japan. She was an Indian politician and former Samda Party president, an activist, author and Indian handicrafts curator. She is a promoter and expert in the field of Indian cottage industries. One of her famous books is Life Among the Scorpions in which she recounts how the going got tougher with her every success, perhaps because she was a woman. Shanda Kumar is a writer and a politician born in Himachal Pradesh. Among the many books he wrote, his notable work is Vishya Vijay Vivekananda, which follows the life and ideals of Swami Vivekananda. Other than being a gifted writer, he also served as the third chief minister of Himachal Pradesh and also as a union minister at the central. Presently, as an 86-year-old, he retired from political life and literature. P. C. K. Prem, an Indian poet, novelist, short story writer, editor, critic writing in English and Hindi. Born on 28 September 1945 in Palambur, Himachal Pradesh. Some of his most famous books are History of Contemporary Indian English Poetry, The Handsome Man, Time and Continuity, Hurt for Man. He is postgraduate from Punjab University. He is a former academician, a civil servant, and a member of Public Service Commission. Virgil Grover, an Indian stand up comic and poet. He was born on 26 January 1980 at Sundanagar, Himachal Pradesh. He won the award of Best Lyricist at the 16th National Film Awards in 2015. His famous books are Business Process Change, Reengineering Concepts, Methods and Technologies and Business Process Transformation. Do you know who DC Chambiel is? DC Chambiel or Duni Chambiel is one of the most significant poets from Kankara district of Himachal Pratesh. He started his career as a poet by writing the poem Broken Images. Through his poem, he encourages and groups women to put their food down firmly. His most famous works include Melotons, Water Justice and The Words. For his great work, he has been given awards worldwide. A folk dance is a dance which depicts the daily life of the common people of a particular region. Himachal Pradesh is known for many different varieties of dance forms which include Nati, Mala, Jamta and several other tribal dance forms. So let us have a look at the Jamkda of Himachal Pradesh.
now, let's have a quick glimpse of Kerala. Kerala, a land of cultural diversity, is a complete whole made up of a blending of various religions, communities, regional cultures and language variations. This narrow strip of land situated at the southwestern coast of the country is a scenic land of coconut trees, cool backwaters, lush hills, green landscape and soothing Ayurveda, a state of natural splendor. Kerala has served as a treasure house of several ancient, ethnic and vibrant art groups and cultural and religious fairs, festivals and conventions associated with the local places of worship. With all this cultural diversity and splendid geography, Kerala is often referred as the God's own country. The average temperature of a region for a long period of time is considered to be that region's climate. Kerala's climate is mainly wet and maritime tropical, heavily influenced by the seasonal heavy rains brought up by the monsoon. It lies in the tropic region, which is mostly subject to the type of humid, tropical, wet climate experienced by most of Earth's rainforest. Meanwhile, its extreme eastern fringes experience a drier, tropical, wet and dry climate. Kerala's average minimum daily temperature is around 37 degrees Celsius and the minimum is 19.8 degrees Celsius. Kerala is one of the most tourist attracted places in India. Tourists from various countries are coming to India mainly to visit the beauty and greenery of Kerala. Kerala has over 50 plus main tourist destinations and many more small yet elegant places. From beaches to silent backwaters to hill stations, Kerala has them all covered. Destinations like Alapura backwaters, 
Muna Hill Stations, Dense Forest and Wildlife Sanctuaries in Thekadi, all these places are very good options for a holiday. Tourists from all over the world are amused by Kerala's greenery and is said to be a perfect place to provide a break from 9 to 5 busy life. Kerala is indeed the God's own country. Kerala, the mystic land lying between the Western Ghats and the Arabian Sea, also known as the God's own country, is abundant in its rich variety of flora and fauna. Almost 24 percentage of Kerala's land area is forest. It includes tropical evergreen forest, tropical deciduous forest and temperate forest. More than 1000 species of trees, 4000 species of flowering plants and 900 species of medicinal plants can be found in Kerala's forest regions. Kerala's fauna is also rich and diverse with more than 100 species of mammals, 476 species of birds, 202 species of freshwater fishes, 169 species of amphibians and 89 species of reptiles. Festivals of Kerala Kerala is most popularly known for its festival of honor, but it also has other major festivals. Honor. The National Festival of Kerala celebrated for the coming of the King Mahabali. This festival falls in August to September and has a wonderful story attached to it. Onam is a very important festival to the people of Kerala and has been celebrated in a grand manner every year. The houses are decorated with florals for 10 days before the actual day. On the day of Onam, presents are exchanged, relatives meet each other and together feast on plantain leaves. The second festival is Vishu. There is not much to be said about Vishu, but it is the second most important festival of Kerala as it marks the new year which normally falls on 14th, 15th or 16th of April. This day determines how the rest of the year is going to be for the Malayalis. It is believed that the whole year depends on the first thing that the person sees on the morning of the Vishu and it has to be an auspicious article. So the people prepare a kani to see the next day. The main attraction of this festival is the first gift that the elders give to the young ones and that is for the purpose for shopping of course. But the most important thing the people enjoy during this festival are the fireworks. The third important festival of Kerala is Trishur Puram. This festival is one of the most famous temple festivals of Kerala. It is celebrated in Vadakanatha temple in Trishur. People sit on huge elephants that are fully dressed for the occasion outside the temple. It requires a continuous dedication of 3 days which is almost 36 hours in which time people do their traditional pujas, decorations and ends the beautiful festival with breathtaking flowers. Trishur Puram is celebrated mainly to worship Lord Shiva and has lots of colors and music. This festival is attended by almost 3 lakh people across India. famous cuisine of Kerala, Sadhya. Sadhya is a feast of Kerala origin and is of great importance to all Malayalis. Consisting of a variety of traditional vegetarian food dishes and is usually served on a banana leaf as lunch in Kerala. Sadhya is typically served on Onam, state festival of Kerala. The food dishes in Sadhya include yes, It is the main item in the Sadhya, very good. The thick curry lentil dish eaten with rice, papadam and ghee, sambar, rasam, abhi. Kaal, edsheri, pachadi. Papadam, shakkar ubi, banana, a ripe banana is often served with sadhya to be eaten with the dessert, pie, sambar. It is also referred as moj in Malayalam. Sweet form of pachadi made with pineapple, pumpkin or grapes in curd. The gravy masala comprises coconut ground with cumin seeds and green chilies. Due to its sweetness, it's also called matra curry in some places. Pulicherry, Inji Puli, Thorin, Acha, Spicy Pickles of Rome, Mango, Lemon, Lime, etc. A typical sadhya can have 24 to 28 dishes served as a single course. In larger cases, it can have 64 or more dishes. 
For example, Sadhya for Arangula for rice. During a traditional Sadhya celebration, people are seated cross leg on mats. The food is eaten with the right hand without any cutlery. The dishes are served on specific places on the banana leaf in specific order. The cultural richness of Kerala is famous all over the world and is the matter of real fascination for everybody. The costumes of Kerala are a symbol for the simple lifestyle of people at here. Men and women in each religion has got traditional dress, ornaments and all. Usually, they wear these traditional costumes in functions like marriages, temple festivals, etc. Let us make a glance to the traditional costume for the people in Kerala. The traditional wear of the state is called mund, which is worn on the lower portion of the body from the waist to the foot. It is white and is worn by both men and women. It resembles a long shirt or dhoti. The upper garment varies with gender and age. When you visit Kerala, you will see men and women wearing completely white attires. It depicts purity and elegance. Their warm nature, amicable behavior, and simplicity in living welcomes all from around the world. Why is Muhammad Bashir also known as Bepur Sultan? Was an Indian independence activist and a writer of the Malayalam literature. He was famous for his path-breaking, down-to-earth style of writing. His famous work include Badi Gara Sanghi, Patumede Aada, and Janmadina. The government of India awarded him the fourth highest civilian award of the Padma Shri in 1982. He was also a recipient of the Kerala Sahitya Award, Sahitya Award, and the Best Short Story Writer Award. Tadi Shivashangar and Pillai, 17 April 1912 to 10 April 1999, were fully known as Thagari after his place of birth. He was an Indian novelist and short story writer of Malayalam literature. He wrote over 30 novels and short stories focusing on the life of the oppressed classes. Known for his works such as Kaya 1978 and Chimmy 1956. Pillai was a recipient of the Padma Bhushan the third highest Indian civilian award. He was also a recipient of the Jnana Pilda, India's highest literary award in 1984 for the novel Kaya. Vijay, commonly known as Ovi Vijay, was a famous Indian cartoonist and a writer. His first novel, Kasakindi Dihasam, brought him the Oda Kural Award. And his third novel, Guru Sagaram, brought him three awards. Kerala Sahiti Academy Award, Sahiti Academy Award for Best Novel and the Avalayar Award. Folklores reveal the true identity of a land, its culture and its tradition. Folk songs and folk dances have always played an integral role in understanding the true essence of a territory. They create a sense of collective belongingness and evoke the self-esteem of that region. So, here comes the fusion of Himachal and Kerala folk song. Chile chalakari, you are the 
religious practices, art forms, etc. vastly differ from north to south and east to west in this great country. In spite of all these differences, we, the Indians, flock together under a common identity of Bharat due to our readiness to accept the other person's individuality and identity.